Uh, hello everyone and uh, here we are again in another video and this time I'm going to show you how to create a login uh, form in uh, C++ Builder. And while it seems like uh, something fairly easy, but uh, for many uh, beginners this is actually uh, quite a big problem and you'll see why. So first we are going to create a new uh, Windows VCL application in C++ Builder. And by default you will always get a new uh, dialog meaning a uh, main form uh, by default form one and if you run the application uh, you will get that form uh, shown now let's see here okay form one uh, we can open the uh, uh, function main which is located in the main project cpp file so this is the since this is the project one uh, function main is located in the project one cpp and we have here the function main and uh, what's important inside uh, is uh, this create form uh, uh, method and it creates uh, a new form in the application and runs the application uh, it's actually important uh, because they, there can be many uh, forms here in, in your application but the first created form using this create form method is treated as the main form of the application and your application will by default uh, terminate uh, only after uh, the main form is uh, closed okay that's why it's important of course you can terminate your application manually by close uh, by uh, saying terminate application or calling some other function or method but uh, let's uh, say that is the login form and I'm going to add uh, some labels saying this is the username and uh, edit uh, one and I'm going to do the same for the password okay and I'm going to add a button which will simply say um, login and uh, okay so i can uh, uh, design this dialog a bit i'll say it's a symbol it doesn't have a minimize maximize and it will show on the uh, screen center and uh, let's just make it like this and if we run this application as you can see we have a login form here uh, now let's create a second form uh, also let's uh, let's define some uh, more clear name uh, we'll not call it form one we'll call it form login okay and if we go into function main we see here uh, that this statement changed uh, it created a form login as a first or main form of the application and now let's create a second form okay and we'll call this form uh, main form and uh, the name will be f main okay and if you go to project one now we see uh, two create form uh, methods called first one is the login and the second one is the main and like i said the first uh, created form by using the create uh, form method is treated as the main form of the application and it will be shown by default so if i run this application here uh, since the first created form is the login form it will be shown by default and the second one uh, can only be shown by for example calling show model from this uh, uh, form uh, or some other okay uh, and also if we uh, change places now uh, the first created form is uh, f main and that form is now going to be treated as the main form and showed as a default one uh, but what, but we don't want this situation uh, we want uh, the main form to be shown only to uh, verified users so what we want first is to have a login okay and only after we verified the user, uh, meaning we found uh, his username and password in our, let's say, database, and we checked that it is okay, and only then to show him the main form. That's what we want. 
And what most beginners do is simply they go in this login. And once clicking login, they would simply, of course, check uh, username and password. Okay. And uh, that can be checked, like I said, by connecting to a database and searching for a username and password. And if uh, username and password are uh, correct, we need to show the main form. And what usually they would do, they would hide the login form and they would uh, explicitly call uh, or show the main form by using show model. And of course, since we are trying to show the second form, we need to include its header here. And uh, in this case, that header is the main uh, unit 2 header. Because this is the main form inside unit 2 CPP is the implementation and declaration is uh, in unit 2 header. So let's see uh, now what happens. So once we uh, check the username and password by clicking the login button, we, if we found that username and password are correct, we hide the login form and we show the main form. And let's see how does it work. So we have the login form here. And I'll show you uh, in Task Manager. This is the project one. And if we close the login form, application terminates. Why? Because the login form is the main form because it's created first by the create form uh, method. And once you uh, close the first created form, uh, because it's treated as the main form, your application will terminate by default. That's why when we uh, start the application, we get the login form and it's active. And like I said, if we close the main form, application terminates. But what happens is if we have the login, we have active application and we click a login button. And upon clicking uh, login button, we uh, have hidden uh, the login uh, form and we have shown the main form, okay? That is why we have uh, uh, this form here. But uh, now as I can see, our project one is active, but if we close the main form, uh, project one is still active. And that is actually the problem here. Why? Because uh, as we said, by default, your application will terminate only if your first created form, and in this case, the first created form is the login form, only if login form is closed. But we didn't close the login form. What we did actually, we just uh, hide it in the background. And that's why uh, our application is still active. We didn't close the login form, we, we hide it. And we need to uh, and process manually in this case. So how to solve this problem? Uh, the problem can be solved in many different ways, but I'll show you uh, one uh, way that I use. First, you need to uh, avoid creating the login form by using the create form uh, uh, method. And instead of using create form method, you need to create login form by using dynamic allocation. And in order to uh, use dynamic allocation, I will include uh, memory and I will use it for the unique pointer. And uh, well, login form, e its declaration is inside uh, unit one header. So I'll include that header as well here. Include uh, unit one header. Okay. And like I said, instead of uh, using the create form method, what I'll simply say uh, TF login, and uh, I'm creating a new F login form, which is nothing but a new TF login. So I dynamically allocated a new form. And now I'm going to uh, show it by simply saying F login show model. Okay. 
and this will uh, as a result have the login form shown but the difference is that I didn't use the create form method because if I used create form method then the login form would be treated as the main form of the application but using this approach uh, login form is not treated as the main form of the application uh, this form will be treated as the main form of the application because it is the first form created by using create form uh, method and uh, what I'll actually do here I'll simply say if uh, the result of showing that uh, login dialog is model result okay then uh, actually we assume that uh, username and password are correct and in that case create the main form okay only uh, once uh, login dialog verified that user uh, username and password are okay only then create a main form and says this is the uh, since f main is the first form created by using create form it will be treated as the main form of the application and i can say here else show message uh, login data is incorrect uh, so how should i ensure that uh, login data uh, returns model result okay if username and password are correct well we'll go here in the designer and we'll say upon clicking login if username and password are correct we will not do this as we said this is the wrong thing to do we'll simply say model result is model result okay so pretty much we check the username and password inside the database and if we determine that username and password username and password are correct then we simply say model result of this login dialog is uh, model result okay nothing else and what we simply say here show the login dialog and if it resulted with okay meaning the username and password are okay then create f main as a main form of the application and run the application now let's start uh, the application and again task manager we have a project one and if we close uh, the login dialog login data is incorrect and application terminates now again we have here login we close you see it's active but once i click ok it will terminate okay so no project one uh, here but if we uh, run again so again we have the project one here and if we click the login button we have now shown the main form okay and uh, watch when i close the main form i have closed the project one why because project uh, because the f main was treated as the main form and application by default terminated uh, once the main form is closed and that's how you do it so basically what you need to do is to avoid creating a login form by using create form method instead uh, dynamically allocate that form and for example check uh, its model result to uh, you can use the model result of login form and, uh, to indicate if username and password are okay and only then create a, a, a main form and in, in this manner and run the application okay uh, I hope this will be useful uh, to you and uh, well uh, if you have any questions like always use the comments and uh, uh, see you later thank you bye